So I'm road tripping the USA for 30 days and so far we've drove up the Pacific Coast Highway to San Francisco, hiked the Yosemite National Park and visited Salt Lake City. And in today's episode we're going to Yellowstone National Park. We've arrived at Yellowstone now and it is absolutely boiling. I don't know what the temperature is, it must be like 30 degrees and we've got to walk to the geysers. We're now walking up to the Grand Prismatic Geyser which is the biggest geyser in America and the fair biggest in the world. So the geyser that we're currently by is the Excelsior geyser. The Grand Prismatic one's even bigger than this one. And the annoying thing as well is like this water is like this mesmerizing turquoise blue water. It looks so inviting to go and swim in, but obviously <laughs> it'd kill you. So this right here behind me is the Grand Prismatic geyser and it is the one that is the biggest in the USA and the third biggest in the world. It is huge. We took a hike up to one of the viewing points. It's about a 20 minute hike from the car park and you get this view from above the geyser itself which looks incredible from up here. We pulled over, still in Yellowstone because it's absolutely huge to make some food and Jack decided to use about eight liters of our 10 liter water supply to wash his body last night and his hair and his feet. So now we've not got enough water left to make pasta and then clean all the dishes from like the pasta sauce being in the pan and stuff. So we have to make some pot noodles with the last pan of water that we have left. You proud of yourself, Jack? Did we find a water station like you kept saying? No, no we didn't, because we're in the middle of the National Park. So the next day we continued on our journey towards the Badlands National Park, where along the way we decided to stop and visit one of the US's most famous monuments, Mount Rushmore. And to be honest with you, it is a little bit strange, but you cannot deny that the skill it takes to carve this out of the mountain is incredible, and the attention to detail, you can even see Roosevelt's glasses. We finally made it to the Badlands after driving for like two hours and here it is. It looks incredible. It reminds me a lot of the Tatakawa Desert in Colombia. It just expands for so far across this open plain. Anyway, we're gonna have some noodles in front of this amazing view and then find out what to do next. We set up camp for the night by the Badlands, so we'll wake up to that view. We're gonna go to sleep, we'll see you in the morning, where we're gonna be heading to Omaha in Nebraska. I'll see you in the morning. Woken up in front of this amazing view of the Badlands and we're gonna get ready and head to Omaha. We finally arrived in Omaha after driving what feels like all day. We've been driving for like six hours. It's now about 6, 7 p.m. and we're going to the old market which is meant to be really good. So we've gone to a pizza here for tea and you can get an 18 inch pizza for $30 with four toppings of your choice and it has vegan cheese which is really good for America because Vegan options have not been great so far. We're gonna eat this because it closes in like 10 minutes. So we're heading back to the car now. Omaha has been really nice. It's a really nice city. It's got a cool vibe. Reminds us a bit like back home when you've got all the markets and stuff, but it is late. So we're gonna go back to the car and we're gonna drive a little bit out of the city, find somewhere to camp up, and then tomorrow morning we might come back in. We're back in Omaha and there's a few things that we want to do today before we leave and head to Chicago. First thing, we're just going to explore the city a little bit more. And then second thing, we need to get a picture with the Iowa state sign and the Nebraska state sign. We've come into one of the comic book stores in the like old market and it is so cool. It's got like arcade games, loads of like toys and collectibles and then obviously no, comic books and the comic books are so expensive compared to like the price that they have on them from the original price like i seen one was two dollars when it was made and they're selling it for 12. i like, have a massive markup the comic book store does mystery boxes 
like you pay like twenty dollars or ten dollars and you get a box with stuff of that value in obviously and it's just random stuff but as you can see some of it is actually like genre so you've got like x-men deadpool star wars yeah, i'm like a child in like a toy shop literally except i'm an adult in a toy shop i got a mystery box i got a 20 dollar mystery box and i let jack pick it i told him to pick either marvel or spider-man and i'm gonna open it now and we'll walk into a coffee shop i'm gonna sit down and get a coffee and i'm gonna open it and see what's in it hopefully there's a comic book in it I got Nick Fury. Not really that interested in the toys, but it's quite cool. It's Nick Fury. And then I got some comics. I got two comics and some stickers. Let's see what the comics are. So I got Starbrand Universe, which is a $3 comic. And I got uh, X Force, which is a $4 comic. Not bad. How much is the toy? The toy is $20. I don't even know where we are now. We're in like an antique shop slash like sweet shop slash just random stuff. I have no idea. We've left the old market now and we've come to the Nebraska sign. And now we have to go to the Iowa sign, which isn't by the Nebraska sign, whereas everywhere else they have them on opposite sides of the road. But here they just don't. So. It's like a 20 minute drive, we're gonna go to that sign and then that is everything we want to do before heading to Chicago. And we've made it to the Iowa sign. Now it's time to head to Chicago where we'll be picking up Anthony for the last three weeks of this road trip. So I'm gonna end the video here and start a new one for Chicago. So make sure you smash that like button, comment below what's been your favorite part. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. And remember, keep exploring.